from today you all are my disciples. Tie this red cloth on your waist. Mm -hmm. Kids, for Kalari Payetu, along with your body being very strong, it's important for the body to be supple and agile. Uh -huh. <clears throat> that is why you might initially find this training a little tough. No, no, Guruji. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you're not aware yet, but we are all very competent mm -hmm. warriors. Hmm. Just jump high and unleash a kick. <laughs> like this? Mm -hmm. Not like this. Higher, higher. Yes, uh, you have to kick that thing. This looks impossible even for me. Uh, uh. <laughs> You need lots of practice. <laughs> your body should be so supple and agile that your limbs should move as fast as the flutter of your eyelids. In nature, who are the best of all fighters? Uh -huh. They are those to whom fighting comes naturally. Uh, is it animals? Hmm, absolutely right. So we need to learn their qualities uh -huh. from the animals, Come. like a wild boar. Or like an elephant sometimes. Become a cat. Bolo. Yes, Dolu. This is very difficult, isn't it? Uh, yes. Come on, let's go and meet our Kalia boss. I've heard that his Kathakali training is going fantastically well. Today I will present in front of you a lot of emotions through my dance moves. Can I get a gold pen and a car? You fools! Huh? I am not talking of gifts. To communicate during a dance recital, the expressions that you get on your face, they present all the emotions. Huh? Like... Sadness, uh -huh. anger, uh -huh. fear. Uh, okay, boss. Now you practice peacefully. We are leaving. Huh? Even we should learn some such art which we both like, Dholu. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The art of climbing coconut trees. Oh. Aya, learn to climb a coconut tree. Ah. Ah, I'll surely teach you. Yay!
my lord. Come, Bhim. Well, kids, there's a lovely mountain at the border of Dholakpur called Neeli Pahadi. I want you all to go there on a holiday trip. Whatever trekking gear, tents, and all you would need for that, I'll provide them. Consider it a small gift from me. I'm sure you are all going to enjoy this camping trip. So, are you all willing? Yes, my lord. Neeli Pahari. Wow. This is nowhere close to the color blue. Then why is this called Blue Mountain or Neeli Pahari? You fools! That's just a name. A name. <laughs> Raju, this is a holiday trip. We are here to have fun, uh, not to climb on top of a mountain. Yeah. It's quite late at night. I'm feeling very sleepy. Oh. I'll be on guard duty. All of you go to sleep. Let's go to sleep then. Beam is protecting everyone, even here. Like he does at Dholakpur. Let me do the guarding. But Kaliya. Bhim, Neeli Pahari's expert is Kaliya the wrestler. I'll do the guard duty. Rest will sleep. I won't sleep, Neeli Pahari's. Expert. Kalia. I'll do the guard duty. <laughs> and he's snoring away. <laughs> Uh, 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 what happened? Kalia, we have been robbed. What? Someone else is also here. <laughs> Beam! Over there! Come on, guys. Catch the thieves! And here? Beam, look, all our camping stuff. Huh? What are you doing at Neeli Pahadi now? Huh? huh? What is this? Dholakpur's Bheem will scale Neeli Pahadi soon. 
Others are all buffoons. Hmm? Hmm. By sending such a message to Pahalwanpur, you've definitely insulted us, Bhim. Kichak, I'll never stoop so low. Oh, uh -huh. now you're lying since you're scared, Bhim. Huh? We've come here for a hmm? few days on a trip, Kichak. Where has our moon vanished? Can you please tell us? Hmm. Let me have a look. Huh? <gasps> ah. Activating the search for the Earth's moon. The Earth's moon has been located far away from the Earth, near the planet of Mars. Huh? How's that possible? Huh? Well, uh, our Earth is here. So our moon should be somewhere here. Huh? Then how did it reach Earth's adjacent planet, Mars of all places? The moon is missing for four days. So let's rewind this tape by four days and check out how this strange thing happened. Look! Even till three days ago, our moon was revolving around our Earth. Huh? I can't believe this. This can't huh? be possible. <gasps> Super strong magnetic waves from Mars pulled away our Earth's moon towards itself. This is the first time I saw our moon being pulled away by some other planet. Away our Earth's moon? But the most important question at this moment is um, can we somehow bring our beloved Chanda Mama back to Earth? Uh, huh. We can get the answers to all these only if we can go to Mars. Then we should all head for Mars right away. Let's go. There might be less air and space for us to breathe freely. These capsules will help us breathe freely for quite a number of days. Space pirates. Oh, they usually rob all the traveling spaceships. And 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 they enter the spaceships by cutting through the roof with a sharp claws. Uncle? Look up there! Dark clouds! The 
This means the sun will shine and there will be rain too. Finally, there will be some rain in Dholakpur. And then we'll jump up and down in the puddles. What fun! Ah ha ha! Bheem! Children, come, come. Kalia and Dholu Bholu are already here to see my kitchen robot. Huh? Kitchen robot? <laughs> yes. Made of glass, my helper in the kitchen can do so many jobs. Oh. Oh no, what's this? The robot is out of control. Hey, Dolu Bolu, why are you making him chase me? Oh no! We were just trying to make an omelette for you, boss. This way I'll become an omelette myself. Help me! Help me, someone! Help me! What were you both up to? Nothing. We had only pressed a few buttons. Thank goodness, you did not press. Is the remote not working properly, Professor Dhum Ketu? No, Bhim. This will not stop now. But we have to stop it, or Kalia will be in danger. Sorry, Professor. I only wanted to stop the robot from hurting Kalia, not break it. I know, Bheem. It's good that this glass is of a different kind and I can fix it. I just need to collect all the pieces. Wow! Look at this, Bheem. It's like a pretty little rainbow. Remember? Uncle was telling us a story yesterday about how the rainbow got made. <laughs> Which story? The story of a very powerful dragon who made a rainbow in the sky. So that he could defeat the cruel Hazak. <laughs> really? And I thought a rainbow is formed when rays of the sun fall on water droplets and turn direction, and that's when we see the seven colors. Oh, this is something that went over our heads. Huh? As if you both understand everything that you're told. If we did, we would not have been with you. Huh? What did you say? I'll show you both. Actually, now is the right weather for the rainbow to be seen. But for that, it has to rain too. Uh -huh. Huh? What an enjoyable day it was today. I am glad that the professor could reassemble and repair the robot. I think it was quite strange that he too made a reference to the rainbow. First, we heard that old story. Many times, stories are connected with reality, Beam. You? All of us need your help, Beam. All the magical lands in the sky are perishing one by one. My. St hey, boss. Please let us also stay for a while. Oh, come on. This is not your cup of tea. I will teach them, Kalia. Uh, hmm? What did you just say, you damn squib? You will steer a ship, huh? <laughs> Have you lost your head? Paneer, you just saved us all. Yay! To show their true blue might, to show their true blue might, to save the islands of Valhalla. Uh Vanir. Is first mate Vanir feeling scared, huh? Beam, those pirates can be back. I'll keep a watch from the ship. Hmm. Good decision, Vanir. Such a coward. Huh. 
The crown of Valhalla should be somewhere over there. Come on, friends. Let's go and get Fenny's crown. Beam, what is happening in the water? Isn't that Prince Fenny's father? Looks like it's his spirit. Hey, pirates! You would never be able to reach that crown. Your Majesty, we are not pirates. <laughs> and you expect me to believe you? I used to believe in my brother, and look what he did to us. No, <laughs> not anymore. Attack them all! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, these ghosts are like chilled ice candies. <laughs> Run away like rats. Beam, take this sword. My lord, please believe us. <laughs> With the strength of Pearly Crown, they got to turn the curse now! No pirate could have defeated us like this. Whoever you may be, please don't let it fall in wrong hands. Possess the strength of an elephant. Oh yes. Of stone. This is just one. Where's the second monkey? Ruran had just asked for this one. Come on, let's hand over this and take the princess back home. <laughs> well, princess, Beam will never be able to catch the third monkey. Yeah, <laughs> here's the reason. A monkey's tail? 
Yes, princess. Yes. That night, I did not lose completely. That night, the moment those monkeys came to life, huh? one of them jumped and bit me. And that, that turned me into one of them. Into an icky ticky monkey. <sighs> now, all I need is to somehow get that second idol in my hands. Then, then no one will be able to stop. <laughs> <sighs> Not so fast, Roran. <sighs> Give me my idol. The right place for you now is the Ikki Tikki Idol. <laughs> you want to catch my tail? Want to turn me into a monkey? <laughs> <sighs> Look, he just turned into King Kong. Beam! Beam! Ah, Beam. You weren't any hero at all. Ah. <laughs> no matter however strong a monkey becomes, it still remains a monkey after all, Rora. You're not going to trouble anyone anymore. Beam. Huh? 